<laughs> Today on the Bear Movie Guy, Bear Movie Guy is looking at unboxing some Loot Crate and Nerd Block. This is the last time he does this. Probably. Yeah. Let's get to it. Brought to you by the Bear Movie Guy. Hi, the Bear Movie Guy, and I'm doing my last unboxing video. At least, probably for a while. I don't know. I no longer get Nerd Block. This is my last one. And I'll be honest, it, it's not cool enough for me to continue paying with the money. But I'm going to do the last one for you, and we'll do my Loot Crate to, to compare it, and uh, yeah. You can decide which is better. Start with the nerd block. As always, I've already opened these and seen what's inside, so I'm not gonna lie to you and pretend like I didn't. First off, we have the t-shirt that every nerd block guarantees it comes with. This one is Ghostbuster themed, and it says who you gonna call. It's an okay t-shirt. I, I love Ghostbusters, but it just didn't excite me as a t-shirt. I thought it was, it, it's cute, but like I was hoping for awesome. Sticking with the Ghostbusters, they give you, this is the coolest thing in, in the whole box this, this month, is a lunch box that looks like one of the boxes that takes a ghost, one of the traps. It's pretty cool. Has a little catch that opens up. And inside was another thing that was Ghostbusters related. Slimer. Now this is, I don't know, this is to me like an okay looking Slimer. It, it's official, it says Ghostbusters on it and stuff, but it's just, eh, it's okay. My daughter already told me she's stealing it from me, which I'm fine with. Next came a Rubik's Cube stress ball. So this looks like a Rubik's Cube. I'll open it up. Oh, I, I ripped it a little. Stressful getting it out of the box. And it looks like a Rubik's Cube. Even has a little Rubik's Cube logo on it. And it's just a oh, stress ball that you're supposed to squeeze. My other daughter told me that she's taking this. So I'm like, okay, that's another thing on. So yeah, it, that's cute. Next, it comes with some coasters. I'll open these up. I feel like the Hulk. They are Game of Thrones coasters. So they have like the dragon, the lion, the wolf, and the reindeer. I know it's not a reindeer, but I'm just calling it that because I want to. They don't say Game of Thrones on them or anything. They just have the, the sigils. Um, they're cardboardy. I guess they're good for coasters. I don't know. Don't use coasters a lot. And the last thing it came with was something that I just, uh, I don't really find all that cool. It came with a book of awkward family postcards. So it has awkward postcards like that, that people, or family photos that are awkward that they've turned into postcards like that. And it's, I don't know, it's, it's humorous. Um, grandpa being kicked in the balls is always humorous, but I just, it looks like just another thing they put in there because they needed a sixth thing. I don't know. So yeah, that was my nerd block. And that's, it, I, if you think that was awesome, that's great. If you want this, let me know. I'll probably give it to you. But yeah, I just, I was kind of very underwhelmed every month. Now to Loot Crate. All right, at Loot Crate this month, the theme was villains. The first thing it came with was in a really tight package, uh, this. This is an apron. Now, it took me a couple minutes to figure out what this was. Um, I don't watch Breaking Bad, and apparently this is a restaurant in Breaking Bad that wanders their money or something. So it's, a, it's an apron that has pockets in the front, and, you know, I could go cooking. Uh, I already got a cool apron that I got given as a gift. So I am not going to be using this, so if anyone I know loves Breaking Bad, hit me up. I'm, I may give it to you, or I will give it to you. Next again with a Joker wooden figure. I've seen these before. They're, they're kind of cool looking. This painted wooded figure. They have bones for Batman and Superman. Ugh, opening it is hard. Why'd they make it so difficult? It even says ha 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 on the box. It's making it harder to open. Uh, uh. <laughs> Ooh, Joker head. Okay, so there, there you go. We got a little... Oh! It's okay, it's okay. It just, it snaps back into place. So I guess you could take them apart is the deal. Yeah, you can take him apart. He, he comes apart. So before anyone's like, I broke him. No, I didn't break him. He comes with two heads though, so this one comes off. This one looks like that. It's kind of cool. I don't I don't get why they made it out of wood, but I don't know. That's cool. I'll put that on a shelf. Also came with a Hydra pin. So my one daughter is really into collecting pins right now. She's putting them all in her purse. She's got some cool Totoro pins and other stuff. So she will be getting this. There you go. It's kind of, it's metal. It's nice. Hail Hydra, I guess. As always, it comes with a button that has Venom smiling, I'm guessing. And last, it comes with a mug, which my oldest daughter has already claimed, which is a Venom mug. So it's, it's like, it's Venom. And then his tongue comes out and 
turns into the handle. So he's like, like in the back of his head, technically, if you look. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, my, my daughter stole that already. She's, that's hers. I don't get anything. They take everything. And that was Loot Crate for the month. I'll be honest, a little underwhelming from Loot Crate, but still cooler than NerdBlock. So that's the last of my unboxing. I will not be unboxing Loot Crate next month unless I get 10 people telling me they want me to. Nine people? Not good enough. I need 10 people. And if no one wants me to, I'm cool with that too. I will not be unboxing anything probably until I get a different type of subscription service to go along with Loot Crate. I'm going to keep Loot Crate. Loot Crate is freaking awesome. I still love it. I highly recommend it. NerdBlock. If that's your stuff, they, they do other ones. I will plug them in the fact that they do a horror box and a gaming box. I haven't tried those ones. I'm not a big horror guy and I'm too old to be a gamer anymore because I just can't keep up. But they do do those so it's like they may be better and cooler in those boxes than they are in this one. But overall, I just, I wasn't feeling it. So thanks for watching. Let me know, did you like these? Did you not like these? And uh, until next time, stay bearded. You've been watching the Bearded Movie Guy. Unboxing stuff, yeah. Subscribe and tell your friends, as always, YouTube safely, and Loot Crate safely also.